So if you get a goal to put your team out of front two to one before the second period ends, what do you do to get prepared for the third period? Maybe you go to New Lumber. I don't know. But Steve Eisen brings in a stick here, and I don't think it's a souvenir. No, I just had a, I didn't have time to uh, change. I broke one out there, so I thought I'd bring it with me. A great effort. We'll get back to that goal, but we were talking about power play goals. You come through with one. And you know, some things never change, Steve. We can go back maybe 20, 25 years ago, and there's a guy by the name of Gordy Howe that used to make some charity visits to hospitals. And there is Gordy just a few years ago before turning slightly gray. And there's a guy that might have the same sport coat recently, I believe. It may not be the same sport coat, but things never change. It's the same thing, doing your part at a charity ward. Congratulations to you, and I know you certainly made the kids feel happy. While we're on the subject of that, we're talking about the, the uh, power plays for Mercy Kids. Certainly, that's living testimony. Yeah, uh, you know, the power play for Mercy Kids is doing pretty well. Um, you know, I, I take this chance to remind everyone that it's a, it's a season-long thing and an ongoing thing, and it wasn't just a one-time effort early in the season. That uh, uh, We're trying to do it the entire season, and uh, um, the team, naturally, we're trying to score as many power play goals as we can, and, and uh, uh, the uh, people from Mercy Hospitals, our goal is to get to, I believe, $1,000 uh, a goal, and uh, I, we're, the last I knew we were up over 600 so if uh, people keep working, the Red Wings are still trying to do our part, and uh, if everyone keeps helping out with us, uh, we'll hopefully we'll reach that goal. The Honorary Chairman, of course, the General Chairman of the Drive is Captain Steve Iserman, and Steve, during the holiday period, what other, I guess, great way of uh, making yourself feel better inside by giving and helping out for the unfortunate children that might need some hospital care at the Mercy Hospitals uh, throughout the Detroit area. Let's go back to the game. Do you get a little more chippy uh, at the end there, uh, maybe even halfway through the second period than it was the first period? Well, it's a pretty tight checking game, and there's not it's not very wide open. And and uh, as the game goes on and the game like this, everyone's checking very tightly, and uh, uh, players are holding and hooking other guys up, not letting them get any skating room. And, and you get a little frustrated and uh, sometimes you have to give a guy a shot here and there to, to break free and to get loose and get yourself uh, open. So, um, you know, both teams are sticking in there and hanging in there. So it's starting to get a little bit rougher, but uh, uh, I'm sure that'll uh, uh, clean up a bit in the third period as both teams try to, to go out and win the game. Steve finds a little daylight here late in the second period to put the team out in front and a great effort because you go to the ice to get that shot away. Well, I, actually, I was looking for Murph over at the right of the goalpost to, to give the pass to, and then uh, just falling, um, just tried to direct it at the net again. And, uh, uh, you know, the goalie was expecting a harder shot, I think, and as he kicked his leg out, it went in between. Steve, earlier, though, uh, when Pittsburgh got their goal, just prior to that, it looked like somebody had hooked you and dragged you to the ice, no call made. Well, the referee is, uh, hes I think he's called a pretty good game so far, and he's letting both teams play, and he realizes it's a pretty tight checking game. So, um, you know, in some cases, uh, uh, that could be called, but. Um, tonight he's pretty well letting both teams play hockey and, and uh, I'm sure he won't uh, call anything unless it's uh, a good scoring opportunity or somebody uh, 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 takes a good shot at somebody. Steve, on the ice, first time against uh, the Penguins this year, you get two other meetings. Uh, playing any differently uh, this edition of the Penguins than a year ago? Well, they're, uh, I think they're a lot more confident and uh, they play better as a team, the entire team. They move the puck very well and they're uh, uh, before, you know, it was basically just Mario. Now they have a lot of guys that can really go and, and, and play well, and they got a couple dangerous lines, and uh, they're definitely a much better team than they were last year. How about this team, your team, coming into this after last night's game? A little bit tired or still feel fresh coming into the third period? Well, I feel good. Um, you know, as this game goes on, I think everybody's felt a little bit better. We, uh, we had a little bit of a delay with our uh, flight last night, and we didn't get in until pretty late, but... Um, everybody's getting going and getting, uh, as the game went on it feels a little bit better in that period we, we we played a little bit better so hopefully in the third we'll have enough uh, left to, to go at it and and hold this lead and maybe build to it okay go get the tape on the stick thank you and good luck in the third period thanks Steve Eiserman our special guest right now with the wings leading by a score of two to one let's move back upstairs to Dave and Mickey all right thank you Ray